Today we'll have a look at John Dryden's an essay on dramatic poesy. John Dryden was born in the year 1631 and died in the year 1700. He was a prominent English playwright, a writer of literary criticism, a poet and a translator. He dominated the literary life of the Restoration Age and because of him, the Restoration Age is also called the Age of Dryden. He is also called the father of English criticism. We'll have a look at the background of the essay, An Essay on Dramatic Poesy. An essay on dramatic poesy was written in the year 1666 and published two years after in the year 1668 during the closure of London theatres due to the plague P -L -A -G -U -E, and also due to the protests by the Puritans against the theatres. This essay was written in dialogue form among four friends while they were sailing on the river Thames. They were sailing in order to witness a navy battle between the English and Dutch armies. The topic of discussion was on the subject of poetry. The talk turned to the virtues of the ancient and modern writers. The four friends are Critus, C R I T E S, Eugenius, E U G E N I U S, Lysidius, L I S I D E I U S, and Neander, capital N E A N D E R. Critus represents Robert Howard, the critic of the Restoration Age. Eugenius represents Lord Buckhurst, capital B U C K H U R S T. Lysidius represents Charles Sedley, S E D L E Y, Sedley. Neander represents Dryden himself. The three main arguments in the essay are number one, modern drama versus ancient drama. Which one is better? Critus supports the ancient drama while Eugenius favors the modern drama. Number two, English plays versus French plays or dramas. Which one is better? Number three, blank verse versus rhymed verse. Which one is better for use in the plays or dramas? Critus was the first one to represent his ideas. He says that ancient dramatists are better than modern dramatists because the modern dramatists have borrowed subjects, art forms, etc. from the ancient dramatists and are dependent on them. He also said that modern dramatists do not follow the unities of time, action, place, etc., which are important for a proper drama. He said that the ancients are the lawgivers and they should be the models for other writers to follow. After this, Eugenius contradicts the views held by Critus. He said that even though the moderns have followed the ancients through their own labor, they now excel the ancients. Number two, sometimes the ancients also do not follow the unities of time, place, and action. Moderns have learned the art of dividing the plays into acts and further into scenes, and so they are better than the ancients.